When I began doing robotic surgery, I was much, much, much better doing laparoscopic surgery. So what you have here is a diagrammatic representation of what my laparoscopic ascending collectomy port placement looked like. And I knew that when I first began doing this, I was much better laparoscopically. So if I ever screwed something up robotically, I could always bail myself out laparoscopically. So I wanted to respect this port configuration as much as possible. So in my lap port placement, I'll put the camera right at the umbilicus. My right hand would go in the patient's left upper quadrant, and my laparoscopic left hand would go in the patient's left lower quadrant. And if I ever needed an assist port, which I rarely did, but it would go in the patient's right lower quadrant. So when I began doing XI robotics, I simply added one port, which is right there to the uh, in the left mid clavicular line. And that actually is a staple port here. And when I do these cases, I'm extremely obsessive about the choreography of the case because robotically, you've got to be super organized. And what that involves for me is a medial to lateral dissection technique. I first encircle the iliocolix. I identify and free the duodenum. Then I divide the iliocolix. I'll dissect the liver, make a huge defect posteriorly so that I can see the liver from the retroperitoneal dissection. I'll then uh, head anterior to the colon divide the hepatocolic ligament and essentially mobilize the entire right colon and the white line of tolt down to the cecum using a uh, cautery or a uh, vessel sealer. Then I'll divide the terminal ileum mesentery and the terminal ileum, divide the transverse mesa colon and, the, and then divide the transverse colon, each time fire flying. And I'll set up for an isoprestaltic anastomosis and then extract now through a fan and steel. And my final port configuration looks like this. So let me talk about the port configuration on the XI just for a second. Um, this diagram doesn't quite do it justice, but what this does is essentially if I palpate the patient's right ASIS and left subcostal region, I simply just create a straight line in this oblique manner, and I put the ports in a straight line. This port here in the right lower quadrant doesn't – this looks like it sits right on the ASIS, but it's a little bit closer towards the, um, the midclavicular line, and then I put a port basically right at the umbilicus. And then to the uh, and then the, the next one is right at the mid the left mid clavicular line and then the final port uh, which is port number four on the XI will sit basically uh, the right subcostal uh, sorry the left subcostal margin. Now of course this port configuration uh, can be cheated in any number of ways on an XI robot. Truly on XI you can just put the ports in roughly a straight line, get them as far away from the pathology as possible and you're gonna have a, a probably a pretty good case. So if you wanna stand these ports up a lot more vertically, totally fine. There's really no wrong way to do this. Um, it, it, just understand though, that as I have this um, diagrammatically placed here, the closer your camera is to the anatomy, the a little bit more challenging the case is. And I don't mind that uh, after having done so many of these, I don't mind um, the port's being a little bit closer because I can I burp the camera port back a little bit and I don't mind the struggle for the sake of cosmesis. But certainly when you're first starting out, definitely pull those ports back a little bit, stand the ports up a little bit more. For SI, this is a lot more fickle. This is a lot more um, challenging to get the, the, the port configuration perfect. So let's spend some time on this. Again, respecting my laparoscopic port configuration where I put the camera at the umbilicus, my right hand, is where the staple port here is, and my left hand uh, is where the accessory port there is. So that's what my laparoscopic port configura configuration used to look like. So that's where my SI port configuration comes from. And I always say that on SI, again, cheat the camera port as far back as you can get it. And then the first thing that I do though is I insufflate the abdomen by whichever means, take a look at the abdomen and place the port, the camera port at the apex of the dome of the abdomen once you're insufflated. So let's say for the sake of this picture, we're right at the umbilicus for the camera, and let's cheat this port back a little bit. The first thing I'll do is I'll look north with the camera, and that's where the three port's gonna go, and I go take this port as far north as I can get it, just to the left of the falciform ligament, and that's where my three port's gonna go. Then what I do is I split the difference between my three and the camera port, and put about a fist distance between the two, and then I put the staple port there. The next port I'll place is the number two port, which is my left hand, which sits right at the fan seal position, and then I'll just put my accessory port or my assistant port wherever I can fit it. So that doesn't really necessarily be at the left or a quadrant, it could be somewhere in between these two, just whichever vector allows you to actually have some working distance. 
And in terms of your XI universality, you can get really creative of where you put your reports in terms of just all in a fantastic position. I mean, the, the possibilities are truly uh, limitless here.